lot of us still do it. And uh, seriously, be honest. I've tried to stop this, and I have in the last month. Studies show texting while you're driving is a distraction. It's yes. dangerous. Not to mention teenagers who do it. Oh. Parents, I know it's a scary thought. So we have some help for you this morning. We want to talk about some apps for your phone to essentially prevent people from texting and driving. Let's bring in computer <laughs> expert Anthony Montaluzzo. You're here to talk about. So there are three of them that are gaining popularity. Is that right? There's three that are gaining popularity. One's called Textacution. Another one is called Text Blocker. And then there's another one called Drive.Safely. Let's but start with that don't one. Don't get confused. It, well, it's not a website. What is this app? What is it meant to do? Basically, what the app does is it loads onto your phone and then it'll use the GPS capabilities of your phone to track how fast you're going in a car. Oh, that's okay. Therefore, so by using the GPS, once you hit, the parents could program it to a certain speed, 10 miles an hour, 5, 15. Once it hits that speed, it will actually shut down critical functions oh. of your phone. Now, however, you can hit a button to dial 911 or certain critical calls in, in that event. Well, then you'd program one mile an hour. That would, that would be the smart thing. <laughs> you're right. So I guess so. It might stop you when you're walking at that Clearly point. Clearly, he's not my dad. So tell, here's my thing. The reality is for teenagers, my thought is, if a parent puts this on their phone, if it's just an app, can't you just disable the app? Yeah, the developers, this is a really new technology, and a lot of this stuff is, is being built in basically bedrooms by one or two-man software uh, development companies. Uh, security is going to be an issue where maybe they'll need to program a password to remove the application okay. once it's loaded onto the phone. But that's, the kids are smart today, so they'll, if they want to find a way, they will find a way to remove the program. You so, mentioned text blocker. Yeah, what is text blocker? And, and, and if you were a parent, mm -hmm. should you do this secretly? It, it's going to be tough to do it secretly. The, the kids are smart. Uh, text blocker, though, uh, is a program with the, uh, with the GPS that identifies the speed limits, but it can also allow parents to set different times or different parameters when you are allowed to use the phone or the Internet. So if you're in school or you know, have some other events going on in your life, they could actually block your phone usage for that, for that time. For a certain time. How much do these cost? Uh, they're, they're actually pretty cheap. The most expensive one I've seen right now was a $25 download. There's some that are 99 cents or 199. Uh, be careful though, some of these have monthly fees associated with them. Uh, textocution? Textocution. It's executing the text, so. Oh, or shooting the text. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. Okay, so we'll, we'll see what, how, how, how do I get a hold of it? Uh, basically, if you go onto Google and, and type in textocution, text bro blocker, uh, they'll, they'll be right there and you can them. Right up. I think it's the way of the future. It's just going to take a second to get there, but I have a feeling. Someone's going to make a lot of money with these applications. It's a, it's it a market it. waiting to explode. Now you say that everybody, Thank all you. the smart people are trying to figure out how to do it. All right, since we're talking about uh, cell phones, texting, we want to remind you here at Fox 29, we want teenagers to play it safe when using their cell phones. And that's why we are encouraging you to take a pledge to stop texting.